The overarching conviction among most researchers is the theory of how things came to be, which remains the main clarification for the starting points of the universe. This hypothesis includes the production of stars, planets, and all life on those planets, counting ourselves. Notwithstanding its fairly eccentric name, the enormous detonation offers an enlightening look into what could have happened. At first, the universe was dense, in a brief space more modest than a pinhead, with particles thickly stuffed. From this microscopic point, a huge blast of issue and energy happened, known as the Big Bang. This occasion, happening billions of years prior, makes way for the unfurling of astronomical history. However, advancements in logical information have prompted increasing inconsistencies with the expectations of the theory of how things came to be. When NASA sent off the James Webb Space Telescope, the biggest and most progressive space science observatory ever developed, researchers guessed that its perceptions would reinforce the theory of the universe's origin. Deplorably, after only one year in space, the telescope astonished researchers with its phenomenal capacity to peer deep into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's amazing abilities have uncovered cosmic systems tracing all the way back to a period so antiquated that it challenges our comprehension of the universe's beginnings. This disclosure has ignited an intense investigation into what existed before the Big Bang. One crucial moment in this mission happened when cosmologist Rohan Natu, working with data from the telescope, coincidentally found a world dating back only a brief time after the Big Bang, making it the most established world ever noticed. Nat's revelation sent shockwaves through established researchers, highlighting the extraordinary capability of the James Webb Telescope. Its mission to reform our perception of the universe has just begun, promising to divulge extraordinary insights into the earliest legends of the universe's presence. This epic, hardly investigated before, holds the key to figuring out the development of the first stars and systems. The telescope's discoveries have resisted beginning assumptions, uncovering systems with qualities outperforming past forecasts. This unforeseen overflow of early systems has touched off a whirlwind of logical inquiry, testing analysts to accommodate these perceptions with existing hypotheses. As researchers wrestle with these disclosures, they confront significant inquiries regarding the major nature of the universe and the powers shaping its development. Besides, the James Webb Telescope's innovation is revolutionary, positioned 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, safeguarded from earthbound obstruction and cooled near absolute zero by its tennis court-sized awning. The telescope conveys a monster-segmented reflect and wonderfully touchy instruments intended to uncover subtleties of vast dawn. Until recently, never seen, this epic known as Infinite Dawn happened no more than a couple hundred million years later after the Big Bang, denoting the period when the primary stars and worlds began to frame. The course of how this unfurled remains a subject of extraordinary review, with hypotheses going from the impacts of dim matter and dull energy to the connections among starlight, gas, and dust. The telescope's perceptions of systems from grandiose first light offer a remarkable chance for cosmologists to test how they might interpret these hidden peculiarities. By investigating these antiquated worlds, researchers can either affirm the legitimacy of their ongoing models or reveal holes in understanding that could lead to significant new disclosures. At first, it was projected that the telescope would see only a couple of weak and little worlds in its pilot examinations. However, the truth has far surpassed these assumptions. The telescope's absolute first pictures of the far-off universe uncovered various worlds with ages, sizes, and glows that outperformed all expectations. This startling abundance of early galaxies has set off a race among stargazers to claim new records for the earliest known universes. Every day delivers cases of yet another record-breaking disclosure, leaving the academic community in stunningness and inciting a reassessment of our comprehension of astronomical history. In the wake of the James Webb Telescope's discoveries, scholars and eyewitnesses have rushed to make sense of the presence of these startlingly full-grown early galaxies. Some hypothesize that imperfections in the investigation of the telescope's underlying perceptions might be liable for these peculiar disclosures. However, the consensus remains that these discoveries address a change in perspective in our comprehension of the early universe and offer tempting pieces of information about the nature of enormous development. The new disclosures from the James Webb Space Telescope regarding early worlds raise significant inquiries about the idea of the universe and challenge the suspicions of standard cosmological models. 
While certain researchers guess whether these perceptions can be accommodated with existing hypotheses, others propose that they may be the first signs that the universe is even more mind-boggling and particular than recently envisioned. In question is nothing less than our basic getting it of how the efficient universe we know risen up out of early-stage mayhem. The early discoveries of JWST can possibly rework the initial sections of grandiose history, revealing insight not just on far-off stories and faraway systems, but also on the actual presence of our own Milky Way galaxy. As Mark McCarran, Senior Counselor for Science and Investigation at the European Space Office, aptly puts it, you construct these machines not to affirm the worldview, but to break it. You just don't have any idea how it will break. The starting points of JWST can be traced back to the Space Telescope Science Foundation in 1985, even before the Hubble Space Telescope was sent off. Around that time, G. Winger, then Deputy Overseer of STSCI, was entrusted with imagining what might come after Hubble. Regardless of starting reservations, Winger and a small group began laying the groundwork for what would ultimately become the Cutting Edge Space Telescope, later renamed JWST after a former NASA chairman. Dissimilar to Hubble, which principally notices apparent light, JWST was intended to see in the infrared range, permitting it to peer much deeper into the universe. This capacity is crucial for concentrating on early galaxies whose light has been extended into the infrared because of the expansion of the universe, making them undetectable to telescopes like Hubble. With its huge and cold star-like mirror, JWST turned into the best instrument for unlocking the secrets of infinite dawn. The need for JWST was highlighted in 1995 when the Hubble Deep Field Perception uncovered a plethora of galaxies in what was believed to be an unfilled patch of sky. This discovery indicated the lavishness of the early universe and supported the significance of a telescope able to dig considerably deeper into infinite history. After over 20 years of improvement and at an expense of around $10 billion, JWST was at long last sent off on Christmas Day in 2021. By July 2022, it was prepared to begin its most memorable year of science perceptions. Early projects like the Vast Advancement Early Delivery Science Overview and the Grism Focal Point Enhanced Overview from Space were explicitly intended to look for early galaxies. While starting assumptions were humble, the outcomes far surpassed expectations. The JWST perceptions have tested existing ideas about the early universe, uncovering galaxies that challenge customary models. These startling discoveries highlight the significance of pushing the limits of logical investigation and feature the extraordinary capability of cutting-edge advancements like the James Webb Space Telescope. As researchers proceed to unwind the secrets of the universe, they are ready to rework our comprehension of vast history and the powers that have molded our universe into what we see today. The early perceptions made by the James Webb Space Telescope have flabbergasted stargazers by uncovering incredibly far-off galaxies nearly quickly. Before JWST, the most far-off realized cosmic system was GNZ-11, found in 2015 with a redshift of 11, relating to an infinite time of around 400 million years. However, from the beginning of JWST perceptions, the Glass Group, led by Rohan Natu and another free gathering, made a wonderful disclosure. They identified a universe named Glass Z13 at a redshift of 13, around 70 million years sooner in enormous history than GNZ11. The rapid speed of these revelations was worked with by improved methods for assessing redshift, which, while less exact than direct estimations, give a quick evaluation of a cosmic system's distance. Shockingly, Glass Z13 showed up suddenly brilliant and gigantic, as of now containing a heavenly mass practically identical to billions of suns, regardless of being fundamentally more youthful than the Milky Way. Resulting perceptions uncovered even additional amazing discoveries. Many world candidates with assessed redshifts as high as 20 arose, showing their reality a mere 180 million years after the Big Bang. A portion of these systems displayed structures not expected to show so from the get-go in astronomical history. Besides, proof arose for worlds practically identical in size to the Milky Way at a redshift of 10, under 500 million years later the Big Bang. These quick improvements challenged the expectations of the standard cosmological model, Lambda Cold Dark Matter, which depicts the universe's development in view of our comprehension of dark energy and dark matter. As per this model, galaxies of such size and brightness shouldn't have formed so early in astronomical history. The rise of gigantic systems in the early universe presents a huge puzzle for cosmologists to grasp. 
To comprehend this problem, it is fundamental to get a handle on the beginning phase periods of the universe's advancement. In the first seconds after the Big Bang, the universe was a hot and thick soup of early stage particles. Over millions of years, the first stars began to form, making the building blocks for galaxies. This cycle of astronomical development from turbulent starting points to the organized universe we notice today is believed to have taken around one billion years. JWST Perceptions tested this timetable by uncovering systems that appear too mature for their astronomical age. Rather than noticing various little protogalactic sections converging to frame larger cosmic systems, as anticipated by current models, JWST has identified worlds that are already sizable and bright. Development perceptions with instruments like the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile have provided additional proof supporting the validity of these far-off systems, precluding the probability of low redshift intruders. These noteworthy revelations open new roads for understanding the early universe and may require revisions to our ongoing cosmological models. JWST continues to alter our comprehension of grandiose history, testing our biases and pushing the limits of cosmic investigation. The shortfall of perceptible dust in the perceptions made by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array highlights the difficulties faced by telescopes in affirming perceptions made by the high-level capacities of the James Webb Space Telescope. As Rohan Nata noted, while JWST can follow up on its own perceptions, Alma's trouble in identifying the cosmic system features the complexities of affirming such disclosures. The implications of JWST perceptions are significant, possibly testing the sanctioned LCDM cosmological model and requiring amendments. Michael B. and Cullen expressed bewilderment at the outcomes, suggesting a critical departure from our current comprehension of cosmology. One dubious hypothesis that could make sense of these discoveries is modified Newtonian dynamics, which challenges the presence of dark matter and proposes elective clarifications for noticed gravitational impacts. JWST perceptions lining up with modified expectations intrigue defenders like Mark McClough, who sees this as further proof supporting the hypothesis. However, wariness remains among certain researchers, for example, JACYP, who highlights the challenges in accommodating modified dynamics with existing information. On the other hand, the non-appearance of residue in early galaxies could offer a more straightforward clarification for their brilliance, possibly puzzling endeavors to precisely measure their masses. Andrea Ferrara recommends that residue might not have had sufficient opportunity to shape in the early universe or may have been removed during galaxy formation. Charlotte Mason and her associates suggested that JWST might be fundamentally identifying the most brilliant youthful systems, which are simpler to recognize. David Spurgle proposes that effective high-mass star formation in the early universe could explain the noticed splendor of these worlds. He conjectures that early attractive fields may have played a role in launching star development, offering a potential clarification for the quick rise of galaxies in the early universe. The rapid flood of logical papers stemming from JWST's starting perceptions highlights the meaning of these discoveries and the significant ramifications they hold for how we might interpret cosmology. As researchers proceed to dissect JWST information, they might uncover further bits of knowledge that test and extend our understanding of the universe. When the principal data began gushing down from the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists were anxiously expecting the outcomes. Many had been dealing with their information investigation pipelines for a long time in planning. Rather than following the customary peer review process, which can often require months, cosmologists selected to distribute their discoveries on AR-14, a site where logical papers can be transferred later minimal survey by arbitrators. However, well before formal peer review, this approach considered another type of peer review to unfurl in close to continuous on stages like Twitter and other social media channels. Rohan Natu depicts it as science by show-up, and the subsequent furor of conversation was serious and amazing. Nancy Levinson, the break head of STSCI, concedes to underestimating the size of the movement. However, there are worries about the potential downsides of this rapid spread of discoveries. Claus Pontypool, JWST project researcher at STSCI, noticed that while the quick sharing of results takes into consideration speedy publicization and conversation, there's a hazard of surging the cycle.